grilled Bubba burgers, air fried french fries at the same time from frozen in the Ninja Foodie Smart Indoor XL Grill right now. Okay, so here is what you'll need for this, and that comes with the kitchen collection when you order this device from Ninja. It comes with this and a few other items, but this is the one we're using today, XL Crisper Basket for the Ninja Foodie XL Grill. And here it is. Uh, I think I showed it on the unboxing I did of it, but that's what it involves, and I'm gonna put one pound of these or out of crinkle cuts right there. I'm also gonna throw in one other thing. <laughs> I'm going to compare. I'm doing two hamburgers, one here, one there, pound of french fries there. I'm going to do an Angus and an original just to see if I can tell the difference. So I'm throwing that in for free. <laughs> now, I've looked at the uh, instructions here, and it calls for, I've had to, I did some thinking on it because it calls for 450 degrees for the burger and then 350 degrees uh, for the fries and then obviously different times which you're going to watch it for times but it wants 10 to 12 minutes for the burger and 18 to 22 for the fries. I'm going to split that difference because we're between 350 and 400. I'm going to do it all at 400. We're learning together and we're going to see how well this does. So I'm going to get some of this laid out and get it started and I will be right back. All right one last thing I thought I might better mention before we get started. I'm going to use the grill feature and to get to 400 you have to go all the way to low. So that's where it's set. I'm fixing to start this to preheating. I'm not going to preheat this because I'm going to have all this ready to sit in there. And I'm actually going to put the fries in first, but we'll get to that in a minute. But right now, get this preheated and we're going to start this cook. Okay, I went ahead and put the probe in. It is preheated. Uh, I selected manual and it's set for, I think, 165. That's what we want the hamburgers at. I just put it there. I'm not using it for that because these are frozen. But I like my french fries at around 200 degrees. So I'm gonna try and show you a way to check this uh, using this, even if you're not inserting it into some meat. But the other thing is, if that doesn't work, I've got this. <laughs> so we'll go by that if, if need be. I'm gonna set the fries in. By the way, that is one pound of fries. That's a, it was a two pound bag and that's about half that bag. So that's one pound of Orata frozen crinkles, crinkle cuts. This is the Bubba Angus and this is the Bubba Burger original. They'll be sitting in there just like that. It's just to see if there's any taste difference at all. So I'm about to set those in, but I'll be right back. All right, what I did, I grabbed my oil because I was thinking of spraying them, but you know what? I'm not going to. If we need to, well, we'll know in a minute. And if we do, I maybe can in the middle of the cook. But if not, I'd rather see how it does without any oil. So it's time to add these fries. We're gonna let them go for about five minutes, and then we're gonna toss them around and add the burgers. Here we go. Set those in, close it right back, uh, start a timer. So we're out for, like I said, four or five minutes, we're gonna flip them around. And uh, as you see, this will just read the temperature on this counter, but when we wanna use it, I can stick it in the french fry to see if it's 200, but you can see I've got my finger on it, and it's not really quick to read. In fact, it hasn't registered my finger yet, and uh, it still hasn't. Oh, wait a minute, I think you gotta press this. Huh, I don't know. There it goes finally. It, it just takes a long time to read, so maybe this is not a good idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some more testing with it, but we may just go to this. I wanna, there it goes, it's reading that a lot faster, but it was not reading my finger. But that, yeah, it's fairly fast, we'll, we'll use this. I stuck it under that cold hamburger and it started moving then. I'll be back in uh, about four minutes. All right, we're coming up on four minutes. I can smell French fries pretty obvious, so that's a lot of times when I do my first shake. Now you could use these, as a matter of fact, I'll show you. I mean, you could obviously do it like that, but I'm gonna try this. I like, in other air fryers, I like to kind of be able to pick it up and, you know, and do a lot with it, but I, just so you'll know, it, it might be easier to use the tongs, but we're we're learning. We're learning. First time I've ever done this. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the no one. I, I got to get the hamburgers on. So we're gonna put. I got to get that little piece of potato off there, or it's gonna burn. All right, there goes the original burger, and here comes the Angus. No oil. There we go. Be back. 
All right, we are coming up on the 10 minute mark and that is where I'm going to use these <laughs> this time. And I'm going to toss these around a little bit and just take a look at the hamburgers. And I think this right here works just as good. No, it, it works better. <laughs> it works better than picking it up and tossing it. I, I believe this is a method I will use from now on. The hamburgers don't look enough to me. So back down with the lid and we'll check them again at about five. All right, we're coming, we're coming up on another four minutes that has passed since I had it open. And I can smell the fries a little bit, so I want to shake them around. Plus, we're going to take a look, maybe take a temp. So let's see what we got. And uh, you can see the burgers, if you ask me, they need flipping. So I'm going to also stick one of these fries just in case, and we'll see how this works. And I just don't have a lot, of, that doesn't look, it's not as fast as I would like. I'll, I'll put it like that. Maybe while I flip those burgers, I'll let you see how long it takes. But here's what I, the burgers, they're going to need more time, of course, but that, that's not going to, in my opinion, that's not going to work. Let's see what that French fry was. We got time. I got time. That French fry was 177, 180, in the, depending on where I put it. So I'll, I'll, I'll have to use a different method than this. It's wanting me to flip. I'm going to raise this lid and let it back down so it'll clear that. But that, if you ask me, it's not fast enough because you want to get the lid up and back down as soon as possible, my opinion. If that's all you have, maybe that would work, especially in the burger, because you want that burger, according to uh, USDA and everybody, or FDA, somebody, <laughs> You want it 165 degrees. So getting off here, be back. Okay, I wanted to show you the charts. Here's the French fries. One pound, 350 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes. And while we're right here, uh, frozen burgers, up to six patties on medium, which is 450 uh, for 10 to 12 minutes. So the fries wanted 18 minutes. Well, they've been, or 18 to 22. They're coming up on their 18. So I'm gonna do a temp check on those and take a look at the burgers, of course. The fries look good. Let's see if I can get where you can read, see that. And we're just a little shy. I'm gonna mix them around a little bit. Now the burgers I'm a little concerned with being, I put the burgers on five minutes later on purpose, but I'm starting to wonder if that was a good idea. I'm gonna flip them one more time. I might have should have put the burgers on at the same time. I'm not even going to check because I see, you know, red juices flowing. So anyhow, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. All right, we're right at 21 minutes that the fries have been on. I have a feeling they're going to be ready to come off. They look, they look excellent. They look perfect. There is 200, 200. I don't know if you can see that. I actually stuck it all the way through. 196, depending on where you put it, but take my word, there's 202, 206, 205, that's, that is uh, exactly what I want. The burgers don't look bad either, so we're gonna do a temp check on those. I'm gonna get these out of here where they'll stop cooking. Might have could have went a, a little bit shorter on the fries, but not a lot. I like to get salt on those right away, but it's not that big of a deal. Let's see what these burgers measure. We're getting really close. Hindsight, though, I would have put it all on at the same time. Now, this one right here might be okay. In fact, I'm pulling the Angus off. This one right here, though, I still see a little red. No big deal. So maybe <laughs> maybe the five minutes was a good... Five, putting the, the fries on five minutes early may have been, you know, a good idea. I wanted to flip that burger, and I'm going to. So... There it is. We're back and running. I'm gonna get some salt on those fries and we're gonna get these things cut open, see how they look and do a little taste comparison on that Angus versus the original. All right, I'm, I'm good enough because carryover will take that to my 165 and it, it looks good. Uh, if I had something a little better to show it to you, how about like this? That, that doesn't look bad, either one of them. So I'm gonna let them rest just a minute. Now, again, a lot of people do not like to cook hamburgers that far. And quite honestly, I'm not crazy about it, but that's what they tell you to do on the boxes and everywhere. So I don't wanna steer anyone wrong. That's why I go where I do. All right, here's these fries and I'll let you see if you can hear them. I mean, they're, they're, they look really, really good. They look 
and I think they are going to be really, really good. A few more minutes, we're gonna cut those open. All right, it's time for the taste test, and I've already tried one of the fries, and they are, if you can hear that, they are perfect. And I mean, they really are. The fries are excellent. The burgers, and to see which one of these is best. Hmm. They're completely done all the way through. This one's still just a touch red. It was a few degrees under that this one. This one got a little warmer, but here's what matters. I'm gonna cut off this little piece right here and this little piece right here. And I'll say it, there is nothing wrong with that original, and I mean nothing. You know what? That does have a little beefier flavor. Hmm. So, now you know with my mouth's full, I may spring for that, I think it's a dollar more. Uh, it has a little better flavor, so, but these will do, take my word. The french fries, perfect. That worked fairly perfect. I mean, missed it by, I left the hamburger in, what, maybe 30 seconds longer, so start at five minutes, start the french fries and add these at the five minute mark. And I have no complaints, absolutely perfect. I love y'all all, come back to see me. Y'all have a good day and bye-bye.